Hey guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. Guys, we're gonna get into this Timu bag. I know you're tired of Timu because I'm getting I'm starting to get a little tired of Timu myself. Cause you know, like I said, how y'all doing today? How's everybody doing? It's super hot. Got on my little wig hat. Cause you know like a wig is like a hat. And I said to myself, I'm gonna have to do something with my own hair because it is too hot for a wig. I need to get my hair braided, something. Get on that Timu dress. I had on a sleeve. I had on a jacket today, y'all, because the office be super, super duper cold. Y'all already know about these offices, how they try to make it extra cold up in there. I had on a jacket, but when I came home and I saw I had a Timu bag, I said I'm gonna show the people what I got from Timu. And I had to take off the jacket because with this light, the jacket, you already see I'm sweating. So I'm gonna get right into this haul. And we ain't gonna dilly, we ain't gonna dally. We ain't playing up in the alley. We're gonna get right into the haul, show you what I've got and I'm going to let y'all go have dinner because I got to make some dinner. I'm trying to take some lunch tomorrow because lately I don't have a taste for nothing. I'd be out in the street and I'd be like, ugh, I don't want none of this. Nothing. I don't want none of it. None of it. None of it. I'm going to show you this first item that I got from the Timu bag. It was $2.48. I don't need to be on Timu when I don't have on glasses. I do not need to be on Timu when I don't have on glasses because I thought these was earrings. Look at these. I said, well, those are some pretty earrings. They real fancy. These are not earrings. I mean, I guess I could make them into an earring if I, if I get creative. I actually could go to Michael's or someplace and get an earring thing and make them into earrings. These are a cute sticker. I saw this when I got this. I said, a cute sticker. A cute sticker. I thought these was earrings. And I said, well, those earrings is popping. I looked at that description after I had sent it out there. It said, a cute sticker. I was like, an embellished cute sticker. So they gave you two. I thought they was earrings. And I said, yeah, I need to stay off a team when I don't have on glasses, just buying stuff and don't even know what you're buying. But you could probably, I could make that into an earring. Even if I was to take one of my earrings that's turning and just glue it on it like that. Look at that. Just glued on one of the bases of another earring with the hot glue gun. Boom, now it's an earring. So see, it was a cute sticker, but I'm gonna turn it into an earring. So that's a DIY for me on another day. And not no day, not no time soon, but on another day when a girl just feel like she wanna be DIY or something, I'll give it a shot, but not today. Okay, so that was one of the items off the bag. Let me put it down. This next item was 87 cents. And I was like, it came in a really nice bag. And I wasn't expecting it to be this good of a quality. It's one of those mats that you stick down in your in your um tub. So you can clean the bottom of your feet real good. You see? You step on it and you just go back and forth. Got it like the little grass look. And you can clean your feet real good. So I said, I thought I would want to use that to clean the bottom of my feet because sometimes people don't bend down to, to wash their feet or they don't pick their feet up to wash their feet and they just, you know, showering and letting the water run down to their feet thinking that their feet is getting clean. But that's why people's feet stink. You got to actually clean your feet. You got to bend over or lift your foot up and you got to clean in between your toes. You got to clean your feet. So for 87 cents, I thought that mat was good. I bought two. I bought one for me and I bought one for my son. So I don't need to show you his. His is a blue. That was like a peach or a pink, something like that. Then I got this ring. I paid $3.78 for this ring. Of course, it's pink. I'm trying to be a pink girl nowadays. Look at this ring. I wore this today. It's a pink ring. This is my favorite Timu ring. It was like a dollar and change. I bought like four of them. I went back and got some more because I said, this ring, I just like the way it look and I just wanted to always be able to have it. So for the price, I went back and got a few more, which I like to call my backups. Let me take out this pink ring and show you this next pink ring. This next pink ring, I don't even know if it's gonna fit my finger, but it is pretty cute. Let me show it to you. Isn't that a cute ring? 
That ring is cute. For three dollars and what I told you it was? It's got an opening in the back. You see this little opening in the back? So I guess you could adjust it. Oh no, it's hard. Okay. Now that's what the one thing about Timu that I can't stand. Now this is supposed to be a size nine. That's the size I wear. This ring is not even fitting on the finger that I want it to fit on. Look at it. Look where it's stopping. I don't want to be wearing this on my pinky. Because it's really too big for a pinky. But on your this finger, it'll look nice. But right now, it ain't fitting. And I can only think, like, maybe it's the weather because it's very humid. It's very hot. Maybe my hand's a little puffy. It could be that. But right now, it ain't fitting. And it might be that. It might be the weather. Because when I tried to push it past my knuckle, it actually could go past my knuckle. And... There you go. It could actually go past my knuckle, but I don't really want to push it past my knuckle in case it get stuck on my finger and don't want to come off. But I pushed it and it actually could go past my knuckle, but look how I got my finger squished underneath. So if you want to get this ring, I don't know if it's the weather that's making my hand like that. Get it in a size bigger, but it is cute. I don't like the way it's fitting on my finger right now. I don't like the way it's fitting on my finger. Put that over there. Ooh, let me have a seat. Cause your girl back is killing her and she's tired. I bought this short set because it was pink. It had a little bling to it and it was under $10. It was $9.79. Oh Lordy. Ooh, Lordy, Miss Claudie. And it says, let's see what it says. It says, but God. So they saying, I couldn't make it if it wasn't for God. If it, was, if it wasn't for the Lord pushing me on, I might have fell by the wayside, but for God. So I said, that's a cute little outfit and it's in my color pink and for under ten dollars yeah i got it and if i wear it this season great and if i get to wear it next season great as you see i got on my colorful um t-move dress that look like the partridge family um school bus look at it look like the partridge family school bus I woke up in love this morning. I woke up in love this morning. Remember that song from the Partridge Family? Went to sleep with you on my mind. Okay, I bought another outfit. It says Melanin Made, and it was $8.99. Another short set. It looked a real tangerine -y. That other outfit, sorry, y'all, that was like a spandexy um feel. This is more of a cotton. And it looked a real tangerine -y on the app. And I said, well, that looked real tangerine. -y. I want to get it. Now that I got it, it just looks like some washed out orange. It don't look real tangerine -y like it looked in the picture. It's not horrible. But it looked like that made label, except it says melanin made. I thought that was cute. So I just got it. And for under $10, that could be something you just switch out. And I'm supposed to be out walking because it's that time of year when I really start walking. I was thinking like, I'll come home, change into shorts and go walking. It's been too humid out. I've been saying, the heck with walking in the humidity. I'm not walking nowhere. I'm walking to my car, to wherever I'm going. I'm walking back in the house. I'm not walking in no freaking humidity. And I said freaking. Cause you know we, I don't think you could be on here talking to them in your kind of way. So this next outfit was ten twenty nine, and it had a butterfly on it. It's all black. It's cotton spandexy shorts again. Oh. It had little butterflies and the butterflies they taken off, taken off, and it came with the shorts. I had the shorts on top of my chest. Look at the shorts. Got a little butterfly in the end. So you could be a black butterfly, sail across the water, tell your sons and your daughters, 
what the struggle brings. Denise Williams song. Black box So that was that. Let me get to some of this jewelry because it's a bunch of it. Before I just show you the last two pieces of clothing. Let me just show you some of this jewelry. I bought this ring for $1.28. About 28 and whenever I buy a piece of jewelry and it really don't fit me, I just stick it in the bag for my nieces. And I asked my niece, is she getting sick of me dropping off bags of stuff? Because even the clothes that don't fit me, I just give it to them. Shoes, bags, whatever don't, whatever is not for me, I give it to them. And she said, oh no, we like the stuff you've been giving us. Keep, 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 keep coming. Keep coming with it. I said, okay, because I don't want you to be like, oh God, here she come with another bag of stuff that we don't need just cluttering up our, our life. She's like, oh no, we like it. Keep coming with it. So this was only um a dollar twenty-eight. Look at the bell on it. Look at that embroidery. It's nice. I'm really I'm really not liking the fact that that ring said it's a nine and it feel like a six. But some of them I think you know they switch stuff up because a nine and a six, depending on how you're holding it, could look different. I'm a real pearl girl. I used to always just wear pearl, little pearl earrings. So me buying these big earrings has uh, changed for me because for years, all you would see me in was some pearls. But I still love the pearls and I saw on Timo that they had fake pearls, a whole lot of different colors for $2.69. And I don't care y'all. I don't know no place where I can get a pearl necklace for $2.69. So I just got a few different colored ones. This is like the champagne one, two strands. And then I got the red one because I didn't have no red pearls. Then I got these gray ones. the green ones. They had other colors, but these were the colors that I went with. I have a few pearl necklaces that's actually really elaborate, really beautiful, but I paid some really elaborate and beautiful money for them too. Yes, they are costume as well, because you know, real pearls don't run you hundreds of dollars, but they were just more elaborate and they cost me a little bit more than $2.69. But just some regular pearl strands. I said, I'll get those because you, you can wear that. Next thing coming off the bag. Hold up, wait a minute. Was a dollar twenty-seven. And some of the stuff was actually, I'm giving you the price that I paid, but then I went back and I hit the um I saw that it had a price drop and I had them to um adjust it. And I wound up getting back by doing that price adjusting, going back looking at the previous orders and having the price just, I got that $14. So that was good. These are just some butterfly dangle earrings and the butterflies are made out of cloth, look at it. That's cute. Yeah, I'll wear those. Put that over there. I bought this ring for $1.28. It's just a fake diamond band. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Let me show you. Let me show you the way to go. Oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to tell you something about me. I love to just be singing. I do that all day long, just be singing out loud. But yet I can't stand musicals, so I said, I don't know what the problem is. But you see it? Let me put it on. If I have these little dots on my finger like that, that's for me pricing with that freaking marker. Okay, you see, that's how it look. So let me show you, let me show you the way to go. Let me put it on another ring. This is actually a pretty band. The other one I brought didn't look so pretty, but this looks kind of pretty, look. Let me show you. Let me show you the way to go. I I plan on doubling it up with the other band that was like a diamondette. 
and it had the diamonds was a little different. I plan on doubling up with that one because when I just had it on just with just this one band, I thought it was bland. And I said, no, that needs something else to help it pop a little bit. Let me just go back and get another one. These earrings right here cost me $3.78. And I thought these earrings were so beautiful. I said, these are gorgeous. I don't usually spend that much on the team of jewelry, but these was gorgeous. And they pink, because I'm a pink girl now. Look at these earrings. See, I didn't know if they was flowers with a, with a drop. And then I realized they're butterflies with a drop. I mean, aren't these earrings pretty? These are beautiful. These are so cute. Yeah, I like those. Those are really pretty. So the 378 that they got for that, I'm okay with because those are outstanding. And I'm not even gonna sing it. I'm not even gonna sing it, but you know the song. Outstanding. Pow. Pow. Girl, you knocked me out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, those earrings is outstanding. That's why I have to have inside decide what I'm gonna do with my hair, because I need to be Putting those on and be just popping because those are just popping. These earrings right here, I was getting ready to just say, Yeah, I don't want them, Timo. And I was just gonna um take them out of my cart because I did some cleaning up. You know how you just be in shopping and Timo, you got stuff in your cart? I said, Girl, I know a part of you is retail doing retail therapy, but that part of you that's doing retail therapy, talk to her, talk to her, girl. And I talked to her, and she's and when I went through that cart, and I deleted thirty things out of that cart. That's how much stuff I had in that cart. I let thirty things. I said, nope, you don't need that. Nope, you don't need that. Nope, you don't gotta have that. So I got rid of things. I was doing like an episode of Hoarders, and I was cleaning out that cart and getting rid of stuff. So I said, yeah, you you have some healing to do, and it's gonna be a while, but that don't mean you have to wind up like the Hoarders wind up and just be like, yeah. I can't even breathe. No. Okay, let's try to fix this earring. This earring is weird. This is a weird earring, but it's pretty. But it looked like it's easy to break. And I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me show you the earring. I like this earring because I thought it was, you know, tiger, tiger's eye, silver. An earring you could, okay. I figured it out. I was acting real slow. There it is. I opened it. That's how it looks. That's the way it looked, y'all. That's a cute little earring. I was getting ready to break it before I even um, get a chance to wear it. I was getting ready to break it. That's a cute little earring. That's an everyday, everyday earring. But I decided that all these earrings is everyday, any day earring because Reverend Ike, if y'all remember Reverend Ike, he said people put up... um. Special glasses, special plates for special occasions or when certain people come around. He said you should never have somebody more important than yourself. So if you got a glass that's you saving just for special occasions, then you, you're um, shortchanging yourself because every day is a special occasion when you wake up. So treat yourself as royally as you treat somebody else. So don't put stuff away and thinking that, oh, you're going to use it at a certain time. He said... Wear whatever you want. And that's why he was so flamboyant. He was flamboyant because he was basically telling you, you only gonna get to live once, so wear whatever you wanna wear, do what you wanna do. So if you wanna wear big old pink flamingo glasses, wear them. If you wanna wear big old pink flamingo earrings like these I just bought for a dollar twenty-eight, wear them. Why not? Wear them. Look at these earrings, how cute they are. And he's made out of like a um this is a real cute little earring. He's made out of like a acrylic. And he's doing his thing. He's got a little bling bling on him. He's got a little, he's got some glitter up on him and he's got, you know, a solid color. But that's basically what it's saying. So if you feel that you're not the fanciest, so what? You don't, you fancy in your own way. Fix yourself up the way you want to fix yourself up and go out and wear whatever you want to wear. And tonight, when you get ready to eat your spaghetti, 
take out your good place and use off of that because why not? You 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 should do that. You don't gotta wait for a special occasion to use your stuff. Trying to build up this channel so I could do some things that I need to do for me. Cause sometimes working, working just you don't get it. So we gotta work on. Oh look at these. These are pink too. And they for two eighteen. And these look like I'm gonna tell you. This look like you have a granddaughter or a little girl, and she did a little artwork at school, and she came home and said, that's for you, Grandma. That's what that looks like to me, but it's cute. Look at that, with the hearts. And it just looks like a little kid's arts craft project. I like that, and that's why I got them. And I said, I'm not gonna, um, I'm gonna take care of me. I'm gonna take care of me. And I'm trying to get me back on track, because when I tell you, the girl was off track. The girl was off track. Because um, I'm a person that has emotions. And I'm not somebody who could just brush something off. Things things affect me for a long time. And I have to work through it. I don't try to dwell on it, live in it. But I try to work through it. But coming on here, talking, showing you all this little stuff. It helps. It helps. Look at this. How cute these are. These are butterflies. They was a dollar... 52 and you get five in a pack and look how blinged out and cute and 3d they are i'll use them in a diy for a dollar 28 i said i'm gonna get them because they butterflies you know what i use the butterflies for i said and it's different it looks cute and i think you could use this if you're a crafty person for your little girl your little granddaughter well, you know, whatever you want to do with it. You can make this, you could glue these down and use these for um, habits for your little granddaughter, your little daughter. Nope, I'm not going to turn these into no earrings. Even though they are cute, you could kind of make that into an earring too. If I come on here one day and you see them and they on my ear like an earring, mind your business. It's okay. You got to do whatever is right for your soul. Now this right here. I was tempted to not get it because I said, you might not even wear those. There was only $1.88 and you got three bracelets. They have butterflies on them. And I was tempted not to get them. But I said, mm, you might not even wear them because I don't like anything tight on me. But I said, they might be stretchy. Let me see if they're stretchy. Yeah, they are stretchy. See, and that's why I, was, I wasn't sure if they was going to be stretchy. Because I said, if they're not stretchy, I'm not going to want to wear them because I don't want to feel like I'm restricted. But this, you get it in a silver, you get it in the rose gold, and you get it in the yellow gold. So I said to myself, for $1.88, just go ahead and get it. And if you don't like the way it feels on you, stick it in the bed, send it right to the nieces. And you know what? I think the nieces are going to get this because I'm putting it on right now. And just rolling it over my hand, I don't like the way that feels. It feels a little restrictive to me, and I don't like nothing that feels restrictive. So guess what? They got some more stuff coming their way. That's going to be gifted to them. Because just putting it on, rolling it over my hand, mm -mm, I don't like the way that feels. It feels tight. And I don't like the feeling of that. So that's going to go back in the bag. And they can share it. And they'll be happy to get that. I got some more stuff for them. Every week I try to... As I bring in, I try to get rid of it. And if it don't fit, I get that, I get rid of it and I give it to them because I said ain't no need to me just keeping, 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 keeping when I know it ain't for me. Everything that I get don't always be for me. Okay, this sweatsuit, pink again, baby pink. That one was like a Barbie pink, like my toes. Oh my God, I love my toes. They're that Barbie pink. And this is more baby pink. So it's just a regular pink pants, pink shorts. And then it's got this pink shirt and it says, peace, love, and sunshine. Cause that's what I'm looking for. Some peace, some love, and a little bit of sunshine. Okay, see that? And did I tell you how much that was? Let me look at the bag. It was $12.99. And it's a cotton material. You know it's gonna fit. I'm gonna probably go to the beach one day after work come home change maybe not who knows or the weekend 
go to the beach. But sometimes I be in the house for one reason and one reason only. It's too freaking hot to go outside. And I say, mm -mm. I like the heat, but when it's sometimes as I get older, ooh, Lordy, I'm starting to get where the heat just is too much for me. And I said, I think it's it's the belly fat. What they say, Relicor um, gets rid of belly fat. Well, where's that commercial? Because I need to get rid of some of this belly fat that I've accumulated. And I said, I'm going to tell you all, this belly fat is coming from, it, it's a true story. I can't really tell you who it is, but it's somebody. I kept saying, huh? And I kept saying to her, you having a baby? You pregnant? She's like, nope. She said, it's a food baby. Me and her had the same thing. Our gold bladder removed. And I said, Lord, have mercy. We ain't going to be up in here competing and we'll see who got the biggest food, baby. So, mm -mm. look at this little bag. You know, you all probably going to say, girl, you don't need no bag. But look how cute it is. This little bag comes in a little case. See the little case? Like a little, little case? And it's a shopping bag. I'm not going to open it up. I'm not going to open it up. The bag looked like this, but let me tell you how much it was. So you all could go get one. It's $1.99. You know how you go in the store and you get in the store and you be like, man, I forgot my bag in the car. And then you have to buy one of theirs. You can leave this in your pocketbook because it's like a little thing. And when you open it up, it turns into a bag because nowadays they don't give you bags no more. And you always get in there and you forget your bag and then you have to wind up buying one of theirs. And then you got 50,000 reusable bags in your car. So this is just a little bag. I'm not opening it up, y'all. I'm not opening it up. Because then I'm going to have to fold it back up. And then they ain't going to fold back the right way. But it's a bag. Okay. They said, come on. You're supposed to be showing us stuff. Let me just show you all real quick. Oh, Lordy. I hope I'll be able to fold this back up nice. Okay. You just pull out the bag. Pay attention, Lizzie. And you'll be able to fold it back the right way. Okay. You see how you got the little inside pocket? You got to fold it back into that. So let's open it up. And it's a bag. It's bigger than that. Let me open it all the way up. I'm scared to open it because then I ain't gonna be able to put it back nice. Nice and neat. Okay, you see it like that? And then you can put some of your stuff in it. So now, since I was nice enough to open it up, you'll be nice enough to let me fold it back up and see how easy it is to fold it back up so we can see if it really is worth you getting. Because how it was easy to unfold, but is it easy to fold it back up and put it back in your pocketbook? Let's see if that is, if it is, or if it's just like, okay, it's a one time, like, you know, that one time trick pony. Let's see. I unfolded it, y'all. Let's see if I can get back the way it came. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look. And I didn't want to open it up. Look at that. Is that not cute and convenient? I'm sticking that in my pocketbook right now because that's. Every time I go in the store, I'll be like, Psh, I don't got a bag. I got to buy another bag. You got one of these in your thing. You just pull it out and boom, you got a bag. And it's not taking up too much space in your pocketbook. The last item tonight, y'all. <laughs> it's the last item coming out the bag. Sitting up in that office, a girl get cold. And I be moving to wear these jackets. So I said, it's just a white little jean jacket, short, short sleeves, but it could cover me enough to keep me somewhat warm in that freezing little office that we have space, where they think that we need refrigeration. See, I don't mind AC, but they be having it on blast, and I don't like AC on blast, where I feel like I'm in the meat section and I'm being, um, oh, no, I lied, Joel. It is another item coming out the bag. It is another item. Okay, look at it. Cute little jacket goes down to my waist. Eh, it don't go all the way over my girls, but that's okay. They don't really have to be closed up. But once I have something just to cover me up a little bit while I'm in the office or like how I'm on film tonight with my little um, arms out. I don't like to be in the office with, with my arms out like that. Mm -mm. Nope. I had on a jacket, but in here it's hot, so I took it off. So when I have a dress on with these sleeves like that, yeah, I want to cover up. I don't like having my arms out like that. I don't. So, this little jack was $14.39. So, I thought that was good under $20 for a jean jacket. 
I saw going to the team room to get my jean jackets because Burlington do be having beautiful jean jackets, but never my size. Always for the little girls. Always for the cute little petites. And I might be cute, but I'm surely not petite. This is the last thing coming out the bag, y'all. And when I tell you, I don't know when I'm going to touch this and put it together because this is going to be something that's going to take weeks to do. Yeah, I'm not getting, I'm not opening up this Pandora's box just yet. This is going to be, um, I don't know when this is going to get done. But let me show you this. This was $28, $26. Look at this. I know you've seen this on t -Move. It's a little, um, let me tell you what it is. Let me read it to you. Where is it at? Where's the writing at? Where is the writing? It's a handmade miniature house. So you got to put it everything together i'm gonna tell you what's the name of it let me open up the box the box came really um beat down to the ground but i checked inside the box and all the pieces was there and i said oh lordy this is gonna be a project my son could put this together but it's not gonna be for him i'm gonna put it together but no time soon and it's called the dream building pavilion and this is how it looks. And all the furniture comes in there, but you even gotta put the furniture together. You gotta put the lamp together. Let me show you the little pieces. This gives you like step-by-step -step directions. And it's really cute. And that's, I looked at the reviews a lot. Some people said, oh, it's junk, it's garbage. The glue they give you is crap. Okay, buy your own glue. Glue ain't expensive, buy your own glue and just take your time and do it. You wanna put this together in two days, it's not gonna work. This is. Something that you're going to have to do for like a month, maybe two, maybe six months. Because do you see these little tiny pieces? Do you see that? It's like one of those old-fashioned doll houses, but not as big. And you're going to have to put it together step by step. And when I was a little girl, I always wanted one of those old-fashioned doll houses to put it step by step. Because right around the corner from my grandmother's house, it was a doll shop. And we used to go in there and look at the little houses. Oh my God, those things were beautiful. But this one's small. It's not going to take up that much space. But this is another bag. This has all the fine little intricate little pieces. They give you a tool to work with. It comes with some more stuff that you got to cut out and put together. And these are the little pieces when you're putting it together here. It's like pressed wood, like that cheap furniture, but it's pressed wood. It does come with a dust cloth, but I didn't buy the dust which is an acrylic case because I was like um I'm about to further down the road and then it gives you the tool to work with you see the little tool and it gives you a measuring stick so y'all might be like go go ahead and put that together and show us how it's gonna be nope because that's gonna be a big old project and that's gonna be further down the road when I'm putting that together that's gonna be further down the road but if you keep riding with me and you keep tuning in to watch me bingo one day you're gonna see it but I'm not making no promises that I can't keep. And I ain't gonna tell you, oh, I'm gonna put this together next week. Nope. Cause this gonna, this gonna take time. And you're gonna need space. And right now I don't really got the space. And um, I do have the time. I'm not gonna say I don't have the time, cause I do. I'm just not gonna take the time right now. But guys, thank you for watching the videos. I hope you saw something on there that you like. And sometimes people come down and say, you know, I have the same item. Or thank you for showing me that because I need that. I'm going to go get it. And I appreciate everybody that comes into the comments and keeps saying, go, girl, go. And don't make your videos short because we like your videos longer. We like your videos longer. Longer. So, is that everything? Oh, let me show you one more thing. One more thing, y'all. I brought one of those little strawberry drink cups. So I said, this is too cute. They give you a little straw. Me and my mother like these little cup things. Like, we just like these little cup things. But when mine start getting a little funky, I throw them out. Because I said, um, after a while, you can't clean these things too good. I just get rid of them. But I said, this was too cute. It's a strawberry. And they give you the little straw. Let me put it together for you. You get the little strawberry, get the little straw. I sure I saw it on Sheen, and this is one of the items that I brought it, and then 
I saw that it went down a price, so I got a price adjustment. So this was like two eighteen, but then I got a price adjust, so it was like a dollar and change. And then you get a little strawberry. Look at this. Look at this. You know that's just too cute and too fancy. Y'all better go get you one of these strawberry cups. Look at that. You got a little strawberry hanging from the side. Is that not cute? Even if you don't want to get it for you, get it for your granddaughter. Get it for your little daughter. This is too cute. It's a little strawberry cup. So, y'all, that's the end of the haul. And I will catch y'all mm, 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 on the next one. And do what I said. Do what I said. You hear me? Do what I said. What the OBG say? Do as I say. Don't do it. My father used to tell me that. And I used to irritate the mess out of him. He used to say, do as I said. Do as I say, not as I do, or something like that. He would say, "Nice." He would look at him like, "I'm not doing what you said." And I don't know. I, I used to like to argue with my father because he used to just, ooh, he could rub me the wrong way. But he used to always say that to me like, hmm, "Do as I say, not as I do." And I was like, "Whatever." Ain't nobody trying to do what you're doing. But anyway, y'all, do like I say and do something nice for who. Do something nice for who? Do something nice for you. Catch you in the next video.